exceeding my expectations and it is more than comparable quality and in some ways better than other cameras that I've shot with in this flat. Would I use this camera professionally? And again, the answer is yes. So just after I arrived in Dubai, I was approached by a company in Abu Dhabi to go and shoot the, the new port Khalifa for two days and three of other ports. So it's, it's kind of a full scale shoot, it's a five day shoot, and I'm going to use the A99 to do that. So this is a camera I've used for 10 days. I'm absolutely completely comfortable using this camera. Uh, and I'm supremely confident we're going to get some great shots down in the dark. So I mentioned earlier that my initial impression of Sony was for a company who produce innovative and cutting edge technology. So how, how have I found that type of technology given that I haven't used it before? Um, I'm not going to go through everything, but it's kind of two things that I do want to mention. Now, one of the things I was kind of not sceptical about, and not particularly worried about, was the electronic viewfinder. I've been shooting with film cameras and DSLRs for over 30 years, every single one of those, and every single one of those I've used professionally has had an optical viewfinder. It's kind of the technology I'm used to, it's simple to work with, I, I, I kind of know what I'm doing with optical viewfinders. So I was a little bit concerned, you know, an electronic viewfinder, how's that going to work? But what I found is it's by far and away the best electronic viewfinder that we use. But for me, one of the key features is I can now shoot like I used to shoot the film camera. So if you watch digital photographers, what they will do is they'll take a shot, they'll bring the camera down, they'll check the history, they'll adjust the exposure, they'll lift the camera to the right, they'll put it down. So you're constantly forced to check because the information is on the back of the camera. With the electronic view camera, I can take the shot, I can see the history, I can adjust. So it's massively faster, it's also a lot more convenient. I don't need to, I don't need to take my eye off the edge. Now clearly some of these massive head shots doesn't really matter if you can't spike the, uh, the, the buildings up the running away. But when I'm shooting weddings, which I do two or three times a year, being able to just keep the camera to my eye is a massive useful feature. Now the other feature I really want, and this is, this is kind of not new with the A99, but it, it, it's kind of new to me, is the what's called focus peak. Um, every single photographer I've shown this to has gone, wow. And what focus peak is, it's when you're looking through the room finder or you're using, using the LCD screen, is the autofocus system will place a highlight around objects that are in focus. So you can set yellow or the red, I've chosen this to set it to yellow. Um, and for the first time, I can properly manually focus with a, uh, in this case, an SLT camera. So why is that important? If I've been using the 85mm f1.4 lens to shoot portraits, to get focus at f1.4, the depth of field is kind of minute. Now, if you shoot in the studio with a traditional DSLR, you can use live view and you can zoom in. It's a very time consuming process and it's not entirely accurate because you're relying on your eyes to say, is this image sharp on this little screen I have here? With the uh, focus peaking, I was kind of walking around, people moving back to the port, I'm adjusting the manual focus and I can see precisely what's in focus. So I can focus on the catch light and the subject's eyes. Now, the problem with autofocus is autofocus is not very good. If I'm shooting portraits, sometimes the autofocus will mistake the subject. So I will have the eye ground focus, but not the eye. So the depth of field is that shallow. But with focus beam, I can see the catch lights are sharp. So this has been an amazing feature. And every single photographer I've shown this to in the last three or four days has gone, wow, how, how cool is that? I can't do that for my DSLR. So I don't want to go on uh, too much longer. Um, you can ask me any questions about the camera later. Um, what I do want to say is that I've really enjoyed using this camera. It's been a pleasure to use, and it has far exceeded my expectations. I expected it to be good, but I didn't expect it to be a camera that I would kind of carry on using. So I'm going to talk to Sony about continuing my relationship with them and working in the future to use their technology to produce fantastic images. Thank you, Jenny.